breathe deep, slow, every day. It's medicine. Bunny, it's a medical, this is treatment, okay? Wow. It's not, isn't that interesting? Your breath yeah. is treatment. You know, <laughs> this is how we're supposed to be healing ourselves. Sit on the couch and relax. That's medicine. A hot tub, that's medicine. Tell your insurance company that Pharmacist Ben says they should pay for a new hot tub in your backyard because it's <laughs> medicine. Same with, same with a hot shower. These are all medical ways to treat, to improve blood supply. Make sure you're on the Healthy Start Pack. Make sure you're using probiotics and digestive enzymes, both on an empty stomach and on a full stomach. Get on the ultimate enzyme, or with meals, I mean. Get on the ultimate enzymes with meals and on an empty stomach. In fact, you might want to go to Brightside Health Products and get the deluxe enzymes, systemic enzymes, Astrazyme. Enzymes are ridiculously important, and I know I've talked about them for years, but it's so, you guys, in the next 10 years, you're going to start to see enzymes as medicine because they are medicine. And uh, We'll get into, I want to, I got a bunch of calls here. So there's, uh, there's some good ideas for you, Bunny. God bless you. And if you have right. any inflammatory issues that are getting in through the digestive system, food elimination, elimination diet. Thank you, my Thank dear. You. Okay, don't, didn't mean to hang up on you there. Pat in Nevada, what's cooking? Oh, good morning. Uh, thank good you morning. for sharing your blessings with all of us. Praise Dr. God. Dr. Thank Dan. you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I just learned I have a detached retina. I've had hypothyroid for over 50 years, and, of course, I'm overweight and have eight okay. spots. So I, lo I, need I love it. I love it. <laughs> you only have one problem, okay? I call it MBFA disease. And everybody who's listening who's got a chronic degenerative health crisis, they only have one problem. I call it MBFA disease. You know what that stands for, Pat? I have no idea. It stands for my body, is falling apart oh. my body is falling apart disease. That's the <laughs> yeah. only disease. It doesn't matter where it shows up. A detached retina is a sign that the, 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 there's inflammation. There are uh, non-healing or anti-healing factors in that area of the body. But they can show up anywhere. Now, the thyroid is really the culprit. There's, I call this the triangle of disease. You start off with digestive issues, and it starts off woefully early in the womb. It goes into blood sugar issues as we can't handle energy as our digestive system breaks down or begins to deteriorate. Our ability to get energy starts to, slu starts to become sluggish, and we get into blood sugar problems. From there, our uh, adrenal glands kick in to try to stabilize the energy levels. The thyroid slows down, and we're off to the disease races. Your problem is the thyroid. Pat, that's your real problem, but it's not, there's something behind that, and that's the blood sugar and the digestion. Make sense, Pat? Yes, so you're does. Okay, so you're falling apart at, in, in multiple ways, but it all has three points that root or ground, uh, ground all of these disparate symptom, symptoms, all these different types of symptoms. Number one, get to the bottom of your food condition. You're, at this point, you said you're in your, how old are you, ma'am, 60s? No, I'm in my 70s. Oh, you're in your 70s. Okay, so at this point, you, you're way malnourished, way malnourished. Get on the Healthy Star Pack right away, today. Stat, that's doctor talk for immediately. Stat on the Healthy Star Pack, okay? You'll start to notice differences right, almost within 24 to 48, 48 hours. When the body is as broken down as it sounds yours is, you get quick results. That's one of the great gifts of the human body. The sicker we are and the more deficient we are, the faster we turn it around. The more deficient we are, the faster our body absorbs nutrients and the faster we notice results. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Pat, there's so much more, but we got a guest at the bottom of the hour. Please call back tomorrow or send me an email, ben at ksco.com. Put your phone number there and I'll get back to you personally. All right, we've got Julia Shopik coming up at the bottom of the hour. Don't go away. Back on the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 at the archive page at brightsideben.com, brightsideben.com. You can purchase Longevity products right off the site, or you can go to my blog, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Tomorrow, we'll continue talking hormones. I'm going to talk to you about a couple of really cool... Well, I'm talking about one supplement that you never hear anybody talking about, unfortunately, but you all know what I'm talking about because some of our favorite foods contain this stuff, and it's powerfully anti-stress, and we'll talk about that tomorrow as we continue talking hormone health and the stress response and chronic degenerative disease on the bright side. Okay, so I'm excited to talk to our next guest, who has become a friend of mine. For some reason, she likes, she likes what I do, and I like what she does. She's got a great book called Honest Medicine, 
It's all about how you can, all about inexpensive treatments that you can use for things like MS, multiple sclerosis, and epilepsy, especially liver disease, autoimmune disease, especially. Please welcome to the bright side, Julia Shopik. Hey, Julia. Hey, Ben. It's so good to be on your show again. You know, I, I am, keep track of you on Coast to Coast AM because I'm you're I'm honored, honored that you, so Julia, I am a fan of yours, and I can't tell you how honored I am that you're keeping track of me. That's super cool. But we're I on the same page. You're in Talkers Magazine, which I, I also follow you on. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. You know, y you and I have a lot in common. That's why we connect so well. You know, we are all about these inexpensive, basic ways that you can take care of health and wellness. And your book is chock full of information, by the way, Honest Medicine. And you can get that on Amazon or Barnes & Noble or anywhere, pretty much. And uh, so I want to talk about a couple of the ideas here in the book, a couple that I, that really, that I really like, as you know, because you and I have talked. First of all, on this program, we talk about the ketogenic diet a lot. You know, you hear the term paleo all the time, and I'm always, I always say that the paleo thing is marketing, but keto is science, and it's been around for a long time. Paleo came out in the last 20 years, but we've known about the ketogenic diet since Hippocrates for, for epilepsy and for, for even for cancers, uh, all kinds of seizure disorders, for inflammatory diseases, autoimmune diseases. Tell us a little bit about the ketogenic diet and how it relates to some of the, some of the health challenges that you've seen and that you write about. You know, you're right. The ketogenic diet has been around, <clears throat> excuse me, for time immemorial. And, right. uh, but scientifically, it's been around, it's been used for pediatric epilepsy, you know, childhood epilepsy, since the 1920s at right. places like Johns Hopkins and yep. the Mayo Clinic. And then guess what happened in Drugs. the 30s and 40s? Anti-seizure medication. That's right. Were Phen developed. Uh, right. Yeah. Barbiturates and Dilantin, that's when it all came out. It was the golden age of pharmacy. Yep, the golden age of pharmacy and the diet, <clears throat> excuse me, Ben, which had really been helping children, you mm. know, 67% of the time, it, it mm. turns out scientifically, uh, kind of fell out of favor. Right. And this was a shame because it is a high fat, low protein, low carbohydrate diet. By the way, that's the difference between it and paleo, that Paleo's it is more low protein. It's mainly high fat. It's the and, fat they focus uh, on. It, it came back in favor because of one man named Jim Abrams. And uh, I, I don't know if some, most of your listeners probably will know the movie Airplane. It's kind of a classic. And it was written, directed, and produced by a man named Jim Abrams. And so he was a really funny man. And then in the 1990s, 1994. Wait a minute, the Abe, hang on, Julia. You're talking about the guy who did the. It was a takeoff on on like horror mo on disaster movies. That one with yeah. Leslie with Leslie Nielsen. Yeah, with Leslie Nielsen. Oh Don't my call God. Me Shirley. So he directed this movie. He he wrote it and directed and produced it. Yes. And he's a physician or he's a medical guy. Nope. Nope. He is a Hollywood. He was a Hollywood uh, uh, institution. And uh, making his money off of, he also did Hot Shots, the movie, you know. So he was very, very famous in Hollywood. And then, you know, for doing funny movies. And then in 1994, something not so funny happened to this man. Yes, it, he, he's, he's an amazing guy. And uh, what happened was his little son, Charlie, an infant, one year old, began to develop intractable seizures. That means... Seizure ends, another one begins. Oh, my seizure God. Ends. You can die from intractable I'm, seizures. Of course. And uh, he was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, the doctors kept drugging this little baby. Oh, my And uh, there's a, a video on my, that I have a link to from, from my book, From Honest Medicine, which shows little Charlie, literally, he has a harness on his back. Because he's so drugged, he's like giving new meaning to bumping into walls. What's the and website, Julia? Harness, yeah. What is the website? The website is honestmedicine.com, but okay. Charlie, uh, uh, Jim Abrams' website is charliefoundation.org. Okay. So, if any listeners but, want to check out the video? Yeah. And, uh, but you can find, actually, if you want to, you can write to me at julietonestmedicine.com and I can send you a link to the video. Um, of little Charlie bumping into walls, literally. But Jim went to the library. He said, we can't take this anymore. And he went to the library to see what his family was going to do with a child. The, oh, the doctors all said, nothing else to be done, just drugs, and mm -hmm. maybe a surgery on your baby's brain. And Jim said, i got to find out how my family's going to deal with this. And so he went to the library, and what do you think he finds? but a diet that has been around, as I said, and as you pointed out. A ketogenic out. diet. Yeah. 
and he copies everything. He found studies from the 20s, the 30s, right. the 40s, the 50s, <laughs> right. all the way right. through the 90s, right. which, which is when he went. And he brings them to his doctors, and the doctors say, don't do it. It won't work. And Jim said, this is kind of the point of my book, Ben, because Jim said, to my everlasting shame, I listened to the doctors, and I let them perform a surgery on, little, on my baby's brain. Mm. And right after the surgery, what do you think happened? He's re More retarded surgery. or something. What happened? No. Nah. Well, luckily, you know, not quite. But you're, you're bringing up another good point that we can that that I like brain. To he was traumatized. His brain traumatized somehow. What happened? Yeah, but he still has seizures. That's and it's he still just, has seizures too. Yeah. Not only was his brain traumatized. I mean, you can't operate on a little baby's brain. You're How do you do that? Right. I, this is this is the craziness of the medical model. It's like we can't see the forest for the trees. We don't see what we're doing because we're so fixated on rearranging the structure of things. We don't understand yeah. the big picture. Yeah. So so the ketogenic diet is a is a, a high fat diet. What kind of fats are you talking about? You know what? This is the thing that makes it con controversial that a lot of doctors because the ketogenic diet they use lots of butters and saturated and fats, right? Yeah, and saturated. Also, but but now you can also use any kind. You can use the coconut oil. You coconut can use, oil, right? Yeah. Coconut and, oil, in uh, particular, because the MCT content, the medium chain triglyceride content, is is actually, I, I don't want to say better than butter, because butter is awesome too. Butter's got some great stuff in it for the brain and and for the immune right. system, etc. Butter is amazing stuff, isn't it? It that's is. why I like you. That's why I like the title of your book and what you write about is because there's these simple little things, right? It's like you know, we make we make it so complicated. We do, and you know something. This is the part that that gets me, and I know it gets you too, Ben. When you have something like a child, you know, a little yeah. child, and you and doctors would almost prefer to give these children. In many cases, if one drug works, okay, I'm not for drugging these kids anyway, but you know what? If one drug works... Polypharmacy, poly, yeah. many, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Isn't that awful to a baby? I've seen babies. I, I was guilty of it. I used to work in this place called Peds ICU at Denver, at University Hospital in Denver. Pediatric ICU and neo neonatal ICU. Oh, my God, the drugs they give, the neonatal and the, and the, and the little children. All right. We're, uh, I want to. I want to talk about. Uh, I want to get to talk about uh, uh, about low dose naltrexone when we come back. Okay, Julia. Great. All right. Thanks. We're, we're talking to Julia Shopik. Her book is Honest Medicine. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the Bright Side, talking to Julia Shopik. About her book, Honest Medicine, give out the website one more time, Julia. Honestmedicine.com. Everything about me is honest medicine. I, love it. I should trademark that term. Well, I'm surprised that I, you even got the website, or you have a, <laughs> uh, you know, the domain name. That's pretty cool. You know honest what? Medicine. I got it a long time ago. And probably nobody's and, ever uh, thought my, of those. My, it's, it's an oxymoron. It's an oxymoron. Do you know you what know I always say? Yeah, that that's what I'm always asked. But on my website, I call it my dream for the future. Yeah. And in the book, I really believe I have written about med about uh, treatments that are honest medicine. I, I so, agree. You know, the thing about medicine is it's inherently fraudulent. You know, if you go yeah. to court, Julia, and you say to the judge, "Here's the evidence. It's doctored." What does that mean? <laughs> right. What does that mean? Yes. It, it means you've committed a fraud, right? Exactly. To doctor something is to commit a fraud. We're committing a fraud. We're, we're pretending we're healthy because we've lowered our blood pressure with our blood pressure drug, or we've lowered our cholesterol with our statin drug, or we don't, we're not in pain anymore because we took our uterus out. So we pretend we're healthy. That's called yeah. doctoring. That's what it means yeah. to doctor. You know, and so yeah. this idea of medicine is inherently dishonest. So it's kind of cute how you did honest medicine. But I noticed one's black and you have them in two colors in the book. Yeah. They're, they're opposite yeah. colors as if they're opposing ideas. Anyway, yeah. I want to talk about low dose naltrexone. And I do and, want to touch a little bit. One on thing about the ketogenic diet before we move on. Yeah. And that is that Jim Abrams, whom I mentioned, has been wonderful. And he has spread the word about the diet. And that, that that's basically charliefoundation.org. He's made awesome. it, you know, he hired a, a uh, dietitian who has trained doctors around the world to administer this diet. For seizures specifically, right? Yeah. 
But for we should, it's being used for many other things. Any, exactly what I was going to say. For, for cancer, for, it'll help yeah. your chemotherapy work better, for, yep. just feel, for just feeling better, really. For, you know, this is how our body is primed to run. You know, our body runs best on this kind of diet. So you the know, reason I it works for... I just met with a friend.